Sorry. <laughs> so, we're just here in my game room. We haven't been here in a while together, so we just here to have some fun. I literally called Ricky. I'm like, let's film something. He's like, what should we film? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, cool, come over in an hour or something. <laughs> and I showed up and I'm like, what should we film? Ricky is gonna show, we haven't seen you in a while on camera. This is true. It's been depressing to see Gabo. <laughs> Just kidding, Gabo, we love you. But we really haven't seen Ricky's beautiful face in a while, so I wanna see what Ricky's been picking up. You've been picking up a lot of things, always sending pictures on our apps that we talk on. You're like, hey bro, look what I got. I'm like, show me in person. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go get, get the stuff. It's Hold on, he'll be back. He'll be back in like 10 minutes. Talking about stuff that they got. Out on the hunt, games and toys that you wanna know. It's the Riff and Ricky. Ricky. So I got me one of these Mewtwo statues. It's pretty legit. It's one of the 110 scales, the Mewtwo Deluxe figure. This is big, Ricky. Dude, wow, is it open on the side or something? Yeah, it's a love hate. I hate. I love hate getting stuff boxed because I never want to take it out of the box. Ooh, wow, look at that shimmer and shine. Ooh. It's kind of bad for me. This is cool, Ricky, I like this. So where'd you buy this? GameStop. How much? Well, you don't have to say. It said it was gonna be 40 and it was, was 30. It under $400. <laughs> it was 10%, no wait, a little less than 10% then. This is actually really cool. I, I'm not even a Pokemon guy, but it's a beautiful figure, dude. It's cool. Mewtwo's got a nice figure. Bet he works out. I bet he does too. He didn't put on the quarantine 15. <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get so much hate on that. <laughs> I already get so much hate on the videos now. Ooh. Whatever. Here you go, this is sick, Ricky. Nice pickup, dude. Thank you, that's wonderful. Chili. Chili Escala. Oh, you know what that means? No. Uh, the chilies are colored. Oh, I'm proud of you, Ricky. Thank you. You've become such a man of great collecting. Pick up. And my next thing. Uh-oh. Uh, we're really into speakers, so I got the Nintendo speakers. I am gonna be honest, as much as I'm underplaying what they are, they're, I think they're cooler because of the whole speaker genesis thing. Let me just say that. I'm not necessarily dying to have these, but just because the speaker thing became such a big deal for us, these are that much cooler. If you would've showed me this before the whole speaker debacle, it would've been like, pretty cool. But now I'm like, really cool. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I mean, I think the only thing I have left is the Xbox. I got some for the PlayStation. You have PlayStation speak? Oh, you do have a PlayStation yeah. soundbar. The soundbar, I got a long time ago. Nice, dude. PlayStation soundbar, Sega speakers, Nintendo speakers, now I just need, you need some Xbox. And there's no, no branding on here at all besides the Nintendo branding. It doesn't say a year, a date, anything. I mean, I'm not really sure, but I think it's for the DS. That Nintendo logo <laughs> looks very DS to me. It does look very, yeah, it doesn't look like. Ooh, it's a soundbar now. Ooh, you would think there'd be like more on here if it wasn't, if it was like the Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64 or something. Yeah. You feel like they would put some other branding on it, but that solid Nintendo, you know? I like it, Ricky, and it just plugs straight. Have you tried them? No. Wow. Maybe we can try them later. We could. At my house. And you can leave them there and ask <laughs> That'd be awesome. There you go. Take your stupid speakers. <laughs> Darn it. Pick up. Riff and Ricky. <laughs> Riff and Ricky and Riff. This is something dumb that probably we would just like and his brothers. I'm going to say it's epic and not it's, dumb. It's awesome, but... It's a King Arthur Monty Python. Pretty legit. This one I am going to open up because I can't stand that $12 pink label. <laughs> wow, this is great. It's funny because I think Ricky sent me a picture of this like a week after I just got done re-watching the movie. Ricky, what's your favorite scene in Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Uh, the rabbit. Where That's what I was going to say. That rabbit's got a vicious street a mile wide. It's a killer. I thought about between the Knights of Knee <laughs> or that, but the rabbit is just so... It's not CGI, it's, it's bad. Puppetry, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> but the first time they ever did that when you didn't know it was coming, oh, it's, it's, it's almost like the first time watching Kung Pao. When you don't know the stupidity that's about to come, it's that much funnier. I'll admit, I like the Black Knight a lot. Oh yeah, dude. What are you gonna do, bleed on me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do, bleed on me? That's some good stuff, Ricky. Oh, I'm very, I, you, you, you got this right before I got to the swap meet. Yeah, I literally shot him a picture like, hey, look what I just got, bro. I was just walking into the swap meet, he was walking out and he showed me that and I was like, dang it. <laughs> I was like, 10 minutes too late. Darn diddly, Ricky dicky do. <laughs> Pick up. 
Bumbleo, Bumbleo. I'm not gonna lie, I just dropped everything. Ricky just dropped everything he just showed us on the ground. All right, this is actually another thing I picked up on the same day. What, it really? was a boxed Halo 3 helmet. Oh, you got it in the box. I know you have it loose right up there. But this one is the first time I've seen it with all the goodies in it. Yeah, I, you usually never see with the stuff in there. You just see the helmet here, I'll help you pull it out. But I so, honestly don't even know if that's actually the, the games that are supposed to be in there. So it has the tray in there. I'll, I'll do B-roll of that. It has the yeah. Game Informer in there. It has the, the stand that the helmet sits on. It also does have the baggie that it comes with and the games in here, but I don't know if these are like- I don't know if those are the ones that are supposed to go. I know if there's the ones that are supposed to go in there. Oddly enough, I looked at eBay, like eBay to see, I'm like, are these supposed to be the ones that go in there? And people were, people were had them like that. And I'm like- So maybe it is. I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know, but either way, to have all this in there, did you, um, do you mind saying how much it was or no? Uh, 30 bucks. 30, oh, that's right. You text me that you found it, and I thought you were like asking if I wanted to buy it for 30. I was like, sure. And you're like, oh, I picked it up. And I was like, oh, <laughs> cool. Sorry. Focus. Is it from Braveheart? No, that's no. hold. 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 All I can think of is buttons. I love 300, 300 and good. Braveheart. Ricky. We're mildly manly. We were, we, we were bl blue collar jobs most of the time, you know? Punch of men. I work out every day. I don't have my chest hair. Did I need to do that? <laughs> Pick up. So here's another thing I got. I don't know if I. I think this was a different day at the swap meet, but that's a swap meet find. Yeah, this is a swap meet find. The dude had a bunch of like. Uh, the thing was, everything was like thirty bucks, and I couldn't. I'm not gonna buy all this like got box it. stuff. So it wasn't crazy bucks. cheap. It wasn't crazy got cheap, it. but I, it's like Transformers and Ninja Turtles combined, and I couldn't say no. Wow. It's the road ready mutations. <laughs> the turtles road ready <laughs> mutations. We gotta ask Ed from Ed's Retro Geek about this. He's the turtle master in my opinion. Wow, this is cool, dude. Uh, I've never seen this before at all. To be honest, I never even knew this existed as a as a piece. Is it all in there? Yeah, open it up, go ahead. Wow. Wow, dude. That's cool. That's really cool. The, I like the that The door flipped lot, from the dude. top. Like... I'll hold it tight, go ahead. Look at that. He opens up. Well, wow, that is cool, dude. I like that a lot. I never saw it as a kid. This must have been like really late on it. This is cooler than I was thinking, dude, to be honest. I wish I knew more about it. Oh, it does have the Toys R Us sticker. Does it have the original price on it, though? Yeah, right there. Can we see oh, the price? Oh, they took it off. Wow. It says Toys R Us, but they took off the price. Toys R Us, man. Save $2 on the pizza point. No, save two pizza points. Whoa. Whoa. I like this, man. Very, very beautiful find. This is all. That's display of, of the gods. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, he's going, oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pick up. It's very nice. He said very nice, not Vietnamese. It's very nice. I thought he said it's Vietnamese. Are we allowed to say like race stuff? Why not? Oh, whatever, I don't know. It's 2021, apparently everything's expensive. I'm just gonna tell him the truth. Yeah. Hey, my wife's Asian. We can make it to Sold. So I actually bought games. Ooh. I got this because when I played it at Mort's, I could not. I, I was having so much fun with it. It plays on the on the Xbox, uh, not the Series X. Xbox One X. One X. I just dropped that video today of you playing that for the first time. <laughs> Ricky, what are you playing? Dude, what is this game? It's so good. <laughs> with the shark gun on this? Dude, I had to get it. Tell them how that works, the shark gun on that game. <laughs> It's just a giant gun that shoots sharks and goes under people and eats them. Yeah, you like shoot like a like a like a landmine or something, and then the shark goes under and they go and do a big bite out of them. It's pretty awesome. It's per it, it's dumb, but it's awesome at the same time. It's it's one of those things that once you play, you're like, I actually did enjoy that. And then I got this cruising because it's cruising, it's cruising, cruising USA. One of our favorite games for sure. Or. Probably one of our more quoted games, to be honest, too. This is true. We're gonna crash! We're gonna crash! Uh, what's the other racing game that we always make a little quote from? Are you talking about Rush? Rush! Told you, it's just part of our nature. Hey, not gonna lie, the new Cybertruck looks like it came out of San Francisco Rush mixed with the Halo truck. Elon Musk, Tesla Cybertruck. Yes. I will stand by that truck that I think it's cool. I think it's amazing. I heard it's affordable too. It's 30, 30, 30 or 40 grand Let's for the buy, basic. Let's buy two of them. I could sell some of this stuff. You could literally probably sell your, some just of the put right, Just stuff. put right here, for sale. Pick up. 
interrupting this video for something super, super important and super exciting. Conventions have been long gone for a while, but there's one of my favorite conventions coming up. And you know it's my favorite because I just showed in a recent video. I bought a house down in that area because I loved it so much. July 10th and 11th in Greenville, South Carolina, S-E-G-E -E is coming up. I went to this convention in 2019, showing some footage of it now. Absolutely loved this convention. We're going back this year. It's gonna be so fun, so exciting. One of my favorite conventions I've ever been to. I know Riggs is going, Gaming Off The Grid is going, I think Gary Rock Solid's going, Russ Lyman, uh, Bowser's going, a whole bunch of other people. I almost forgot to mention NES Addict. He's like the homie of all homies. He's going to the man. So this thing was already amazing years ago. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like this year. <laughs> COVID, <laughs> you had your time. You're done, you're done now. You can, you can go now. It's time for Southeast Game Exchange 2021. Come see us and everybody there. Don't come just for us, come to have fun. We're just stupid. Go to have fun, you're gonna love it. That's a promise I can make. If you don't have fun, you can blame Ricky. Pick up. And then my last thing, I, I, I my wife was like, uh, What is sorry. it, do I know? I, I didn't show it to you. <gasps> I've never seen it. Let me put it on. Oh, put it on, it's gonna make me jealous. Clothing is the coolest. It's kind of big though. What is it? Sega. Sega sports jacket. <laughs> it's Sega. Now I know why you didn't show it to me. <laughs> Give me it! No, it's Dude, that is actually really cool. I like that it's Sega sports and then it's a big jacket like this. And I say that because Sega sports is something that I would feel like like a, a coach would wear, you know, on the sideline. That this is, is something, like something a coach would wear. This is what you picture like a coach wearing. If, if, it, if there's like Sonic the Hedgehog, even though that'd be cool, it doesn't speak to the actual jacket, you know what I mean? That could have been Joe Montana. Where'd you get jacket. this, on Mercari? No, I actually got it on eBay. Really? Yeah. You're the one who outbid me. No, the, I'm just kidding. It, it was a, or best offer. Wow, so you got it straight in? I <laughs> got it so cheap. Wow. I didn't want to say. This is thick and durable. <laughs> let, me, let me see how this thing feels. Let me see go how, ahead, go ahead. how heavy this thing is. Okay, a, a nice lightweight yet warm. Oh yeah, I know you can't see it, but it has like the tightening thing on the bottom, so you can go and make it nice and tight. Cool, Ricky. A, B, C, D. <laughs> Brown, yeah. Boy, long time. Man, this looks good on me. <laughs> I'm taking it off. Pick up. Is that it, Ricky? That's it. I got this backpack, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all right. You got a backpack? Just like that. What's that from? I don't know. <laughs> this is cool. I think it's just a remake. A double dragon backpack. Are you sure? Have you checked inside of it for a tag or a year? Huh. Well, let's do that live on camera. It's the double dragon backpack. It's yellow and it's black. No thing in there. Let's see if it has one here. Ready? So there's no tag, does that make it more efficient? If there's no tag, there is no tag. So with that said, I'm going to say it's from 1990. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rare vintage 1990 original never <laughs> used before. Some say Bimmy and Jimmy Lee were prostrated. Made? Conceived, Conceived while this backpack was made. Wow. I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. Pick up. I feel bad Ricky just told me he's gonna give me something. I didn't know he was gonna do that. So I have nothing back to give him. It's okay, it's nothing crazy, bro. It doesn't have to be crazy, it's the thought that counts. Here. <gasps> Ricky, stop trying to give me stuff, bro. I know this was coming because you texted me the other day if I need it. So thank you very much. If you don't know what Mario this is, what is this Mario from, Ricky? It's from Wendy's. Is he really? Yeah. The Mario Kart ones are from Wendy's? I think this isn't a Mario Kart one. This is a, oh, maybe this isn't. Now, I thought this was the Wendy's one. Now Ricky's like, no, you can't have it. No, no, you can have it. Are you sure? I got two other ones. There's one that's box still up there. I thought this was the Mario Kart Mario. Is it not? No, this is the Mario Kart Mario. Oh, either way, this is from 2002 Nintendo. Thank you, Ricky. I appreciate this really. I don't have this Mario. I have a lot of different variations of Mario lying around my house. Not this one. Pick up. This is sick. Thank you, dude. This is actually really sick. Sonic the Hedgehog little watch. Wow, Ricky. This is gonna look beautiful besides my other my Sega Epcot watch. How old is this? I don't know. This is legit old Sega. This is oh, it's old. 95 Sega. It's beautiful. I like that the main color around it isn't blue, which a lot of times they would do stuff like that and you would like that better because it's brighter. But I love the black outline with is Sonic. Is a blood it? splatter? Dude, Sega was violent back then. I think it's supposed to be a blood splatter, dude. That's wild. Maybe it's supposed to be like combined with Mortal Kombat. Oh. As I'm saying it, look, it's playing on the screen. Mortal Kombat playing on the screen <laughs> next to it. Pick up. 
And I know what this is before I even look. Last time, Ricky gave me a Deek VHS, as some would say in Italy. A Zelda, The Ringer, which this one I haven't seen, Ricky, out like, I've seen the other one in the wild, yeah. the song for a unicorn one you gave me, which is awesome, but I've never seen this The Ringer one, but I love on the back that Link's just having an epic pillow fight. Hey bro, that's how you fight. In his chonies, pretty much. I mean, he's definitely, why is he fighting with a pillowcase? For real. <sighs> that, that's something I can't answer. Hopefully I can find the scene and play it right now. Hey, how come Link Link's sword doesn't shoot stuff anymore? Guys, it's been a blast, but you're going home. Back then, he just like had a great sound. It cools out. Wow. Thank you, Ricky. <gasps> Looking good, princess, especially from this angle. Oh. Pick up. Oh, I got one more thing for you, but technically, it was given to me, so you can thank Jay. Jay the Generous? Jay the Generous. Now that I have a helmet. Oh boy. That was from Jay the Generous? This is from Jay the Generous. So, I got this one now, so... I know he did, I know he's been wanting one. Because really? Our last pickup vi- Dude, I brought this at one of our pickup videos before. Oh, this is the one from the pickup video? Yeah. I've actually been looking for one of these, but I'm such a cheapo that I have to find it for the right price. And I finally did. It was free. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got, just got really jealous when you pulled that out, dude. The wait, Jay, that Jay gave me. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that Jay said to give this to me or Jay gave it to you and then you're giving it to me? Jay gave it to me and then I'm giving it to you. So technically, thank you, it's from Ricky. Jay. Wow. Well, it's from you. I mean, Jay gave it to you and what you do. So, Jay, thank you for bringing the circle of life to me. That is too kind of you. You never have to do that. This is it. Does it look good from there, Ricky? I can't see in the camera. Yeah, it's perfect. It's <laughs> me, Master Chef, Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Dude, but thank you. Honestly, Ricky, I feel like a jerk. I got nothing to give you, bro. No, I'm good. You can have my wallet. I don't have my wallet, to be honest. Where's my wallet? You can have a... Uh... I don't need anything. No, I already have too much Girl, stuff you, to have You get my cell room. phone. Sweet. Everything on it. Contacts, everything. My fingerprint to unlock it, though, so good luck. Or my code. It's 6969420. Really? Hmm? <laughs> Try it. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Pick up. All right, hey really everybody, <laughs> thank you for watching. We appreciate you enjoying our stupidity from with just us, the old Retro Liberty days, man. I, I can't know. believe we're still here. Who would have thought? I can't believe they're still there watching, to be honest. <laughs> All right, have a good one. And remember, never forget who you are. I know, but I can't think of it. What's that from? I'll give you a hint. What? Simpsons? Now I'm more confused. It's where Apu's trying to get citizenship, so he buys the fake citizenship. Did you know Apu was canceled a long time ago? Like, not too long ago? Why? Take a guess. You serious? Yep. Dude, I don't, it's more racist to cancel something. Why aren't we gone yet? <laughs> Do miss those. Ricky and more. Ricky and more. And All right. Oh wait, not Ricky and more. <laughs> He's a mud. Pretty much a mudican. A mudican. That's pretty good. Hey, it sounds like Gabo saying American. He's a mudican. Playing <laughs> <laughs> YouTube and algorithm. I picture Al Gore playing bongos, and that's the algorithm.